What's up, everybody? This is Rob Shack. So we're moving on in my Japanese com compact cup race here in my Grand Spell 4 walkthrough. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Help me get to a thousand subs. Hope to get there by the end of the year. Jet race four of my Japanese compact cup is what race will this be on? I'm using the Honda S500 from 1963 against cars that are way better than me. Uh, got some Vitzes, some March, a March, and a Cube. And this will be an interesting race. So what I'll do is go back to my method from the first race where I just kind of go through the race without talking and then I'll comment on the replay. So that'll be a way to keep people engaged. So thank you all for watching. Enjoy the race. Enjoy the part where I try to win this thing and let's do it. I'll talk again after this race. All right, we've got another interesting race here where the Vitz RS Turbo kind of destroyed everybody and the Vitz F almost lost to the March there. So that was kind of weird. Um, I'm not really sure if that's like the normal thing now. See, I don't know how that works. It seems like they based the lineup on whatever the places were in the race, the first race. 
and but I feel like the RS Turbo is actually faster. So maybe just because the Vitz po positioned himself in second or uh, second when I won the first race, now that's why they're like that. I'm not really sure, honestly. It's kind of weird, but the Vitz RS Turbo is like honestly significantly better than the Vitz F. It seems like because he was like four seconds ahead, and like I didn't do anything to the Vitz F, so I don't really know what that's all about. Um, just to give the cube some sort of interesting thing, I get him a, some contact when I pass him. But other than that, I was pretty clean this race. I didn't really hit a lot of people. I mean, they try to like, you know, they drive their ghost lines, so you kind of still have like that risk where they will just drive into the back of you like this Vitz tried to do to me here. But like, generally I was clean this race. You know, got one off the road a couple times, made a couple mistakes, but not like, I wasn't as aggressive because on a course like this, you can definitely be more uh this card with the nos it becomes better at handling straightaways so that was like it's a little bit easier to actually pass people without having to be violent or anything like that so made another clean pass against the march g there and now we're coming up on the vitz f and the rs turbo which as of that last turn there the vitz f actually got passed and then proceeds to do the worst turns ever for like a foul you know, 15 seconds. He just makes a bad turn after a bad turn. And so I'm like, I tried to give him a boost here. And then he did that weird thing where he starts ramming me. And I was like, no, dude, I'm trying to make you go faster so that you can like catch up to the RS Turbo. And so I, I kind of gave up on that. Uh, I tried to go slow and let him catch up to me using his dra my, dra uh, my draft. But then he did a pretty bad turn here too. So then I was like, well, fine. And the proof that he did bad turns was because the march is like right behind him and ended up being right with him the entire race. So I don't know what this Vitz did this race, but he could not keep up with anybody and did not do a very good race. Kind of curious if that's going to be the trend now. Seems like it shouldn't be, but this course is a lot, has a lot more of a straightaway situation. And that RS Turbo was going 106 at the end of that straightaway, and everybody else didn't even come close to that. Actually, it looked like the Vitz. RS 1.5 there had 105, but other than that, everyone else was at 103. So I'm like, yeah, what is going on with this Vitz? Really struggling this race. March is right behind him. I've now passed uh, the Vitz RS Turbo, but he's pretty fast, honestly. Like, I, I feel like this car has gotten better throughout the race series here because now he's like killing everybody as opposed to the other races where he was like right ahead of them and it wasn't even close, it was very close. Now he's like destroying everybody, or it's just this Vitz is really struggling this race for some reason, which I, I don't believe that, but it just seems like the fact that the March is right there, and even the Vitz RS 1.5 is in their range, so I'm like, I, I don't know, I don't know what's going on, but I'm uh, trying to keep my race clean again, I mean, I think I did a pretty good job, you know, on Autumn Ring Mini, I definitely had, in my opinion, the ability, the right to kind of push people out of the way, because I was heavily hampered. Um, got a little less aggressive in my more straightaway races because the NOS really does kick in and makes my car actually a straightaway beast, even though it shouldn't be because it has like half their horsepower or whatever. So yeah, we do a good job. Finish it strong. S500, hilarious car, racing some bitses, some my, my, uh, March or a micro, and then the cube sucks. So yeah, this was an interesting one. Kind of didn't expect there to be, like, any sort of passing going on, but there was, and the RS Tur Turbo destroyed everybody, honestly. And the Vitz F did not seem to do very, very well. I'd be really, I would have been really surprised if the March had passed, and he was close enough that I kind of thought it might have happened. So, RS 1.5 just coming through, just chilling, just chilling in fifth, and then the cube is very, very bad and slow. I hope I never have to drive this car. I'll have to tune it up a lot to make it fun, so... Yeah, um, that's one down. Now we're moving on to race, what, five next week? So enjoy. Hope you all enjoyed this one. Peace.